Bay Street Church fam. These are your monthly church announcements. Every first Monday of the month, Night Street Missionary Baptist Church Prayer Line is hosted at 7.30 a.m. You can dial into the conference line at 605-475-2875, access code 647-4067-POUND. Again, that is 605-475-2875, access code 647-4067, or meet us on Facebook Live. Every Monday is Message Monday, hanging with the Carters at 7 p.m. via the conference line or Facebook Live. Message Monday at 7 p.m. Every Tuesday is Ladies Night. It is the Powder Room with the Women of the Nine virtual Bible study at 7 p.m. Meet us on Facebook Live or by conference line. Tuesdays at 7 p.m. It goes up every Wednesday for Live and 45 with our very own Pastor Carter. Bible study starts at 7 p.m. You can meet us by way of Facebook Live or on the conference line. Again, Live and 45 Bible study every Wednesday at 7 p.m. Who's next? Next Gen's next. Every Monday at 6 p.m. is our children's check-in on tuesday is talk about it tuesday at 7 45 p.m and then on saturday it is story time saturday for our little ones meet us on facebook live at the Ninth street next gen youth ministry page you can give your offering and tithe by way of cash app at dollar sign tha number nine nbc again that's dollar sign the nine nbc on cash app you can also give by our tithely app by locating ninth street nbc again that's our tithely app ninth street nbc you can also give by part in person from 1 p.m to 2 p.m on saturdays at the 9th street missionary baptist church 1023 north 9th street fort smith arkansas If you'd like to give to our pastor's love offering, you can do so by cash app at dollar sign C-A-N-D-B-S-P. Again, that's dollar sign C-A-N-D-B-S-P. Ninth Street Missionary Baptist Church. Remember, our mission statement is saving the lost at any cost. Ladies, welcome, welcome, welcome. You already know what time it is. It is Tuesday. It is ladies night. And I want to welcome you tonight into the powder room. Amen. So what I need you to do for me really quick is I need for you to like, to make sure you like the video. If you haven't already liked it, go ahead and like it on tonight. Then I want you to tag someone on tonight. Tag one of your homegirls. Tag your, your niece, your cousin, your mom, your grandmother, uh, and a, a, a friend, a co-worker, just somebody. Just tag somebody on tonight and invite them to our Ladies Night, the Powder Room. Amen. And then I want you to share. I want to spread some love on tonight. Can we do that on tonight? Can we be bold and walk in our boldness and confidence and just share the, the gospel on tonight? I need you to click that share button in the bottom left hand corner of your phone on tonight amen listen we are gonna have a great time on tonight it is one of my favorite days because it's tuesday and it's ladies night so i want you to go ahead and like share and tag i'm gonna give you one minute to do that and then we're gonna go ahead and jump into tonight amen so i'm gonna see who's on here with me tonight i see you christine nails how you doing on tonight Ann. we got helena in the house hey jazz how you doing? We got Lisa Franklin, Kenya Carter's on the line, Sister Linda Johnson, hey, hey. Hey, if you don't mind, give me a hey girl, hey, back in the comments on tonight, okay? I see that we got, 
Hey, Heather Shank Jones, my girl, listen, I, I can't wait for the day when I get the opportunity to actually meet you in person. Listen, if you are visiting with us on tonight, I say welcome to the powder room. Uh, we it, It's open to everybody, not just the nine, but for every woman out there. And we welcome you into the powder room on tonight. I thank you, Heather, for riding with us for 20. We're going into our 21 days on tomorrow, amen? Riding with us every Tuesday. Um, I see, hey, Mom, hey, Ernette is on the line on tonight. Thank you, guys. And whoever's on the prayer line tonight, on our conference line, we welcome you to the powder room on tonight. We welcome you to our Tuesday night Women of the Nine Bible Study. Amen. Listen, Sister Jeanette, hey, 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 Tanisha, all the way from Jersey. Thank you for joining us on tonight. Thank you for joining us on tonight. Listen, um, today was day 20 of our 21 days, okay? And I decided I did not want to cheat you because the lesson was too good for me to just read two paragraphs. And it just so happened that I started studying this this morning and God, God gave me something great. I think it's great. I know it has to be because it's from him. And then, you know, I had to run it by the pastor too because I said, hey, what do you think? What do you think? So I'm really excited about tonight. Amen. So we're going to go ahead and jump into our lesson on tonight. Uh, before we do so, Father God, we thank you on tonight, God. We thank you for your unmerited favor, God. We thank you for your grace and your mercy, God. We thank you, God, for being a, a God that never changes, God. And on tonight, God, we just want to be uh, daughters who are obedient to you, God. We are putting down our will and picking up your will on tonight, God. Now, God, I ask on tonight that something is said that will pierce our hearts, God, that would allow us to go out into this dying world and to share with other women, other men, young men, young girls all over, Lord. Now, God, uh, do what you do when you settle in a room. We welcome you in our room right now, into the powder room. We welcome you into this bedroom, God. We welcome you into someone's kitchen on tonight, God. We welcome you into someone's living room, their patio, their car, wherever they may be, God. You are welcome to settle in this place. Now, God, have your way. Have your way in our study on tonight, Lord. We thank you, we love you, and we will forever give you praise. It is in your name we pray. Amen. 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 Listen, if you are ready for tonight, because I'm in the comments with you on tonight, I want you to put in the comments real quick. Uh, shout out, I'm ready, or put out that fire, like Pastor always say. Put some fire in the comments if you are ready for tonight. Listen, Pastor said, excuse Chloe's cell phone. So if you hear a little bit of Paw Patrol in the background, it's because Chloe has joined us for ladies' night on tonight. She has joined us in the powder room on tonight, and she said that I'm going to listen to the Bible study, but I'm also going to hang out with Chase for a little bit, okay? So don't mind her, and I'm going to talk as loud as I need to to overcome Chase and Sky of the Paw Patrol, all right? Amen, amen. Listen, I'm excited because we have been in on a journey, and I, I, I appreciate you guys for taking part in that journey with me. Um, and it's so befitting because, and I know I mentioned this before, but when I first announced the 21 days, it was back in June, I don't think anybody even recognized when I said, hey, we're going to get kick off a 21-day devotion, and God didn't allow me to do it. And in July, I couldn't not do it. In August, I wanted to do it. I announced it again, and God said no. But he chose September, the ninth month, the ninth month, because this is the month of birthing. And I know that in this entire process that I know that even for me personally, but I know for somebody who's been on this journey with us, that something was birthed in these, in these days, in this season, in this month. Some things were birthed. Some things were released. And I know that he chose this month specifically for that reason. And I am just so amazed and so in awe of the words that he has spoken to us every day. Uh, it has been an amazing 20 days. And listen, we are less than 48 hours away from ending our journey. And that's where the little tear comes in, right? But I truly believe that 
right now you are in your shining moment right now in this journey and what that means is that this is your opportunity to give God all the glory with your life and I know that that's what is going on right now so if you haven't had an opportunity to journey with us uh, you can go back and watch every one of those and 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 find one that actually sticks with you and I appreciate the texts, the phone calls, the messages of the things that have been so great to you while we've been on this journey. Okay? Um, so, right now what we're going to do is we're going to jump into day 20 on tonight. Day 20. It's called Keep Walking. Keep Walking. Amen? And so, on tonight, I know that the, that the, uh, the title of our message is called Keep Walking, but... I have to change the title just a little bit. And that's no disrespect to Lady Leah, but I think it should be undone. Because there are some things that we think are undone, but God says they are not. I'm here to take care of everything that you thought was undone. Amen. All right. So let's go ahead and jump into our lesson of day 20. Of day 20. Uh, and what I love about this is that this is the second time that in this book that God chose to speak to us using another unnamed woman. Only one time we've heard that so far in our journey, and that was with the Proverbs 31 woman. But on tonight, we have another unnamed woman. So I want you to turn in your Bibles or look at the screen with me. We're going to Luke chapter 13, verses 10 through 13. I'm going to read to you from the NIV version. And it says, on a Sabbath, Jesus was teaching in one of the synagogues, and a woman was there who had been crippled by a spirit for 18 years. She was bent over and could not straighten up at all. When Jesus saw her, he called her forward and said to her, woman, you are set free from your infirmity. Then he put his hands on her. And immediately she straightened up and praised God. She immediately uh, straightened up and she praised God. I'm going to read the, all three verses one more time, okay? Because I, I just want to make sure you are really hearing this. On a Sabbath, Jesus was teaching in one of the synagogues. And a woman was there who had been crippled by a spirit for 18 years. I need somebody to put that in the comments. 18 years. She was bent over. She was bent over and could not straighten up at all. And when Jesus saw her, he called her forward and said to her, Woman, you are set free from your infirmity. Then he put his hands on her and immediately she straightened up and praised God. Amen. Listen, when you read this scripture, here is Jesus and he is here on a Sabbath. And he is here to uh, give a message. He's here to preach the word. And there's all these people in the sanctuary. But as he looks over this sanctuary, you guys, all over the crowd, he finds this woman and he tells her to come forward. He tells her to come forward. He searches the crowd and he sees her and he says, come forward. And they say, the scripture says when she came forward, she was bent over and could not straighten up at all. And when he brought her forward, he said, woman, you are set free from your infirmity. And then, y'all, he laid hands on her. And immediately she straightened up and praised God. Praised God. Listen, our first, the first principle I want you to see in tonight's text was the search by the master. And when I was reading this this morning, you know, um, when we look at the search by the master in this text, every church service Whenever we go, if you was on the service last night, every time we go to church, there is an opportunity for us, ladies, for, for the Lord to see us. There's an opportunity for the Lord to see us, to see our needs, uh, to see our situation. And we go to church to hear the, the preacher uh, preach the word. We go there and feel full confidence that the word will search us out. Amen? That it's going to search us out. We go to church in full confidence that the word will see us and see our needs and see what we're going through. See what we're dealing with and call us out and minister to us from the place where we are. And on tonight, we see the search from the master. In the process of this, 
that uh, this woman is sitting in the back of the church. Now, the scripture doesn't give us all this detail, but I can only imagine she's sitting in here in the back of the church. She came here to church thinking that it's just going to be an ordinary church service. It's going to be another average day. And she came here uh, minding her own business thinking that, you know, this is just going to be another average moment in time. And in this process, here is Jesus looking over everyone else in the crowd, y'all, looking over everyone else in the sanctuary, getting to this woman. In the process of searching out the needs in the sanctuary, he sees her need and sees her situation. Put that in the comments on tonight. Jesus, just search me out. If I could just get Jesus to search me out. Listen, he searched this woman out in the sanctuary. He looked over everyone else and saw her needs and saw her situation. And when he saw her, he, he immediately put his focus on her. See, she came there not trying to get no attention. She didn't want to be seen. Remember, the Bible, said this, the Bible tells us that this woman had an infirmity. There was this spirit that was on her for 18 years for 18 years for 18 years and she was bent over but he he finds her he finds her he searches her out and listen she wasn't in there making any noise she was quiet didn't want no attention or anything she wasn't shouting or anything it says that he searched her out he found her and got his focus on her jesus just search me out she was in the right place at the right time and jesus speaks to her and he calls her forward listen y'all as much as as the lord has done in this season i mean when you actually sit back and look at this season just look back over your life as much as he's done as much as he's blessed us as much as he's fixed as much as he has changed for us uh, there is still some things that have gone undone and the Lord says I want to search for those things Because I'm gonna I'm gonna fulfill my promise. Nothing will go undone He says I want to straighten you out for my glory and that's what he did for this woman on tonight He searched her out and he says hey, I'm gonna straighten you out for my glory You thought this situation was done, but it's not let's go back to the scripture really quick I'm going to pull up my book here because it's something I have to point out to you really quick in the scripture so you can understand why she thought this was a done situation. Listen, it says, on a Sabbath, Jesus was teaching in one of the synagogues and a woman was there who had been crippled by a spirit for 18 years. So Luke tells us how long she's been in this situation. It says she was bent over and could not straighten up at all. The word all, if you are an English major... Uh, uh, if you love English grammar like I do, uh, you want things right, you're going to know that the word all is an absolute. It's an absolute grammatical word, which means that once it's done, it ends. Nothing can be modified. It can't be changed. That's what all is. It's an absolute type of word. So nothing can be modified or changed. So for 18 years, she has been, been, has been bent over and could not straighten up at all. So in her mind, she's thinking this is a done situation. It's already a done situation. And here's the thing. She, she, she's, um, she's, it says that she's been bent over and she could not be straightened. Mm -hmm. Listen, I want to tell you on tonight, there is always an opportunity for the Lord to see you. Mm -hmm. She came into this place not wanting to be seen. She was quiet. Yeah. She sat at the back of the church, but it says that he came into the synagogue. This is on the Sabbath. He came into the synagogue to preach. And he looked all over the sanctuary and he was looking at their needs. But he searched her out and saw her immediate need and saw her immediate situation that she was in. There is always an opportunity for the Lord to mm -hmm. see you. Jesus will search you out. The Lord is not going to let anything go undone. It says all for her. All that she was bent over and could not straighten up at all. So right now she's thinking that she's in a situation that will never change. 
But we serve a God who that we know can change anything, right? And man, if, if you know that, I want you to put that in the comments. That's the kind of God I serve, mm -hmm. is that he can change anything. Mm -hmm. He is the modifier. Mm -hmm. Amen? He, he is the modifier. Mm -hmm. Listen, the second thing that we see in this devotional tonight is the severity of her condition, okay? We see the severity of her condition. Her condition was so bad, ladies. Mm -hmm. Listen, it was so bad, her condition was unchangeable remember i told you the word all means it's absolute it means nothing can be changed it's done that's it she's thinking that i'm in a condition that can never be changed that can never be modified the bible says she could not straighten out at all that word straighten means she couldn't unbend mm -hmm. she could not reposition herself Okay, there was no way on earth that she was going to be able to do it. Listen, are you listening on tonight, Pastor? Are you listening to I'm me? Listening. I'm telling you because I, I'm I'm excited because this blessed me when I started wow. reading it this morning. I'm telling y'all, wow. listen, listen, listen. It says straighten means she could not, she couldn't unbend, so she's bent. It says she can't unbend. Mm -hmm. It says she can't reposition herself. Somebody on here tonight is feeling like I'm in a bent situation. Mm. It ain't going to never change. I ain't going to never be able to reposition myself. Yeah. I'm not going to be able to reposition myself. But listen, hey, my PowerPoint went out. But you know what? We're going to keep it moving. Why? Because the word of the Lord will move forward. Amen. Listen. I need a charger. Yeah, it's okay. Let me put this in right here. Listen, and you know what? You know why this is happening right now? Because of the 21 days. It's the enemy. It's the enemy, and he's mad because God won't, won't let anything go undone. And guess what? This ain't going to go undone either. Amen? It's not. So listen, she was in a position where she felt like she could not reposition herself, that she could not unbend. And I'm going to go to the scripture. It says that she was bent over. Bent over in Hebrew means double bent. Okay? So she was double bent over. What does that mean? That means that she was so bent over that her face, the only thing she could see was the floor. The only thing she could see was the floor. Amen? Listen. So now she's in a position where she feels like, listen, nothing could ever be changed. She's become comfortable looking at the floor. 18 long years, this spirit of infirmity has been attached to her, and she has become comfortable with facing the floor. And if you are listening on tonight and you have become comfortable in that position of that, that position of being bent over, of being in shame, of being in depression, or feeling like you're in the position of lack. I'm here to tell you on tonight that God is not going to let anything go undone. He is not going to let anything go undone. It says here she was bent over. She was double bent over, ladies. Her face was touching the floor. And it says, and she could not straighten up at all. She could not reposition herself. She could not, uh, So she was in this position for so long that now she felt like I will never be able to reposition myself. So now she's placed her, she's been in a position of being limited at this point. Yes, limited. Put that in the comments from on me on tonight. Limited. She's been she's now placed in a position of limited. So her reach is limited. Her perception has been limited. Her mindset has been limited. For 18 long years, she's been in a position of being limited. And I'm here to tell you that we serve a limitless God. And on tonight, he wants to break those limits for you. He wants to take you out of the box on tonight. Amen. Amen. It says here, he called the woman forward and said to her, Woman, you are set free from your infirmity. Then he laid his hands on her and immediately she straightened up and praised God. Immediately, she straightened up and praised God. Here are the keys that I wanted to tell you on tonight. See, she found herself in a place called limited. And I already told you, she her, her perception was limited. Her reach was limited. Her mindset had been limited. 
but she became comfortable being in a position of being limited. Growth and comfort, because all of us keep asking God to grow us, to take us to new places. Lord, keep blessing me, but growth and comfort can't ride the same horse, y'all. So that means you got to get out of that place of comfort. And God doesn't need a physical place to change you. This is why I want, want to let you know on tonight. God does not need a physical place to change you. Listen, in this 18 years that she had this infirmity, this wasn't one or two days. It was actually 18 years she had adjusted herself to being limited. Okay? It was 18 years where she became comfortable with her face facing the floor. But that wasn't going to be her view for forever. It wasn't. Because I, on this day... She found herself at the right place at the right time. Jesus searched her out. He saw her need and saw her situation and called her forward. He called her forward. And he says tonight that there is nothing that I cannot do. I can change your situation on tonight. She came in here. She had been going. We don't even know, but we can only assume she had been going to church for a while. And she said, well, the church can't change me. Nothing has been able to change me. It's been 18 years. But God doesn't need the physical church to change you. That's why he's created pathways like this, like the 21 days that we're doing, the virtual Bible studies that we're in, the message Mondays that we've been having. He's created pathways such as this so to let you know that I don't need the building. I just need you. I just need you to be able to change you. To be able to change you. He says, I don't need none of that because what I'm going to do is I'm going to search you out. I'm going to search you out. And when I search you out, I'm going to search you out to bless you. I'm going to search you out to change you. I'm going to search you out to reach you. But what I'm going to do tonight is I'm just going to take the limits off you. Because in these last 48 hours of this journey, I truly believe that God is about to be do something so miraculous in our life. Amen. We've been in this thing for 20 going it's going into 21 days. Mm -hmm. And each day I gave you the word. I gave you a prayer nudge so you can go into your prayer closet and pray about the about the word we just received, but also a moment of reflection. And in that, that those 20 days we've been in so far, somebody on tonight is probably saying, "Well, there were some prayers I I prayed and they're unanswered." Well, God is saying to you on tonight, "Hey, I still got 48 hours." Wow. I still got 48 hours. Nothing will go undone in this season. All I need you to do is let me search you out. Let me search you out. I'm going to take the limits off each and every one of my daughters on tonight. Because he is getting ready to uh, take the limits off of you so you can function, so you can flourish, so that you can be straightened up, so that there can be no absolute like the word all. It's undeniable that God is ready to change your life. But I just want to know, do you believe me on tonight? <laughs> if you believe me, I want you to put in the comments, hey, I believe, Sister Carter. Hey, girl, hey, I believe. I believe it. I believe it because I see him working already. I see him working in my life already. And just like the enemy tried to cut this power point out tonight, y'all, he's been on attack for 20 days Lord. in every way possible. He tried to attack our minds. I know he tried to attack mine. I know he probably tried to attack yours on tonight. He tried to attack somebody's finances. He been coming after your family. He came after my family too. But guess what? God says, I'm not going to leave nothing undone. Mm -hmm. What mm -hmm. I started, I will finish. Mm -hmm. What I started, I will finish. The very thing that you think is going to go undone in this season. Wow. That's the very thing that God is searching for on tonight. Talk. So if you want Jesus to search you out, say it on. I want you to say it one more time. Jesus, just search me out. Search Lord, me. search me. Search Lord, me search out. me out. Jesus. Because those things that I'm thinking are mm -hmm. undone, they are not undone. Right. Man, Jesus. Jesus. Listen, she found herself in a limited place. And if you are finding yourself in a limited place on tonight, I just I just want to tell you that just op be open to receive so God can search you out. He wants to search you out and take those limits off. He's going to change your perception. He's going to change your mindset. And what you thought was bent over, he's going to straighten up. He's going to straighten it up. Let's go to Isaiah 42 and 16 tonight. 
Lord. It says, I will lead the blind by ways they have not known. Mm -hmm. Along unfamiliar paths, I will guide them. I will turn the darkness into light yeah. before them and make the rough places smooth. Yeah. These are the things I will do. Mm -hmm. I will not forsake them. Right. I will not forsake them. Hey, I'm just going to go to my Bible real quick because I like the New King James Version of this, y'all. And it says here, I will bring the blind by a way they did not know. I will lead them in paths they have not known. I will make darkness light before them. Here's my favorite part. In crooked places straight. These things I will do for them and not forsake them. Listen, if you want to know the things that God is going to do after this, these 21 days, after this whole process, here's what he's going to do. And I just read it in his words. So you, this ain't even me. This is all Bible right here. He says, I'm going to straighten out some stuff. I'm going to make the crooked places straight. I'm going to guide you in the dark place. I'm going to guide you in this unknown territory that I'm taking you to. Places that you have never seen. Mm -hmm. Places you've never been. Places you've never touched. I am going to guide you. This is what he's going to do. This is what he's going to do. So that, guess what that means? I ain't got to worry about nothing. I ain't got to worry about nothing. Because he says he's going to do it. I am going to allow you to break ground that has never been broken before. Lord. Lord. But the Lord says, I'm not going to let you do it without your God. Mm -hmm. And that's me. That's me. He says, that's me. I'm your God. It says, I will lead the blind. I will take you along unfamiliar paths. I'm going to guide them. I will turn the darkness into light before them and make the rough places smooth. He says, I'm going to do it. I'm going to guide you in all these things. I'm going to do it to you, and you don't have to worry about it. Just like he did for the woman on tonight. This unknown, this unnamed woman. He, he straightened her up. She had a spirit of infirmity that had been on her for 18 long years. She, it says she was double bent over and couldn't straighten up at all. That she would never be able to straighten up at all. It says she was double bent over. And her situation was unchangeable. It said her situation could not be modified. It said her situation would never be what it was before. But God says, if you let me guide you, I'm here to straighten you up. I'm going to make those crooked places straight. I'm going to lead you through the darkness. He says, I'm going to guide you. And why? I'm going to straighten you out. Why? Because it's for my glory. It's for my glory. It's for my honor because there is something major that I need you to do and I need you to do it in a dark place. He said, I'm going to take you through the dark. I'm going to take you through the dark. And listen, he said, I'm going to make the dark places into light. I'm going to guide you in the dark places because, because I called your purpose to go into the dark. So if you was wondering well, what happens on day 22, on day 22, God says, just go in the dark. Just go in the dark because that's where your purpose is. It's going to be in the dark because once you go in the dark and you let the, allow the Lord to search you out and straighten you up, then your, his, your light is going to shine. Remember I said this is your shining moment right now where God gets the glory for your life. Where God gets the glory for your life. Your purpose is, go, is to go into the dark. Your purpose is to take your light into the dark. Your purpose is to be seen and known in the dark and to let God's glory to be seen in the in the dark. Now, in the scripture, Isaiah 42, 16, the last line is the, is the best part right here. It's the best part right here. So wherever you at, I don't know where, I, I don't, KT, wherever you at, I want to hear you shout because I know you, you shout. Listen, these are the things I will do. Why? He says, I will not forsake them. Meaning, I won't let it go undone. Mm -hmm. I won't let it go undone. Mm -hmm. Pastor said, y'all need to learn how to shout out the word. Listen, he said, I ain't going to let it go undone because these are the things that I'm going to do. I won't let anything go undone. Mm -hmm. I won't let anything go undone. And listen, I know the enemy. I already told you, he already mad tonight. He mad. He big mad too, y'all. He big mad. 
because we have been in this process of, of allowing ourselves to be vulnerable for God, okay? And being open and ready to receive the word so that our lives can be changed. And he's mad about it. And the thing about him is there's nothing he can do about it because he's not he's not like God. God doesn't leave anything undone. We know the enemy, he can't, he can't do anything. His plans, his plots, his schemes, everything is always the same. Mm -hmm. But we thank God for his power and for his grace and for his mercy and for being a God who will not let, allow anything to go undone. Mm -hmm. Listen, I'm going to give you a homework assignment for tonight. I am. Because I want you to go back over the 20 days. I want you to go back and I want you to reflect over all the 20 days. And if there was a moment where you prayed on a particular day and God did not answer your prayer, on tonight I want you to lay that right before our daddy because he still got 48, he still got 48 hours. And he promised us in these 21 days that nothing would go undone. Nothing. Nothing would go undone. So if you had a prayer that had not been answered, lay that before him on tonight. Lay that on him before him on tonight because God wants to answer your prayers. He wants you to search for those things that you thought were undone and lay them before him. Lay them before him because those are the things that, that you are still thinking are bent over. The things that you still think are crooked. The things that you still think are in a, a dark place. All those things, lay those before him on tonight. Because his promise is that it will not go undone. And I don't know about you, but I'm walking in full confidence that in these next 48 hours, everything that we have prayed for, every promise that we had told back to him that he promised to us that we are heirs of, he is going to make it happen. He is going to make it happen. So on tonight, just ask God to search me, Jesus. Search for me, Jesus. Search for me. Search for me, Lord. And take the limits off of me. And I know that our lesson, our devotion was called Keep Walking. Yes, we're going to keep walking. We're going to keep walking in obedience because that's what he's called us to do. But we're going to declare that on tonight, nothing will go undone. And I need you to put that in the comments for me on tonight. Nothing shall go undone. Nothing shall go undone. Father God, we thank you on tonight for this reminder that nothing will go undone. Lord, we thank you that you will come and search us out, God. Search us by our needs. Search us based on our situation, our circumstances, Lord. Whatever it may be, you will search us out. And you will make those crooked places straight, Lord. Lord, we thank you for taking us into the dark place so that we can develop in our purpose on tonight, God. Lord, we thank you for these 20 days of your word, of your guidance, God, of your wisdom, Lord. These opportunities to, to uh, intense, intensify our prayer life and our hunger and our thirst for you, God. Mm -hmm. Lord, we just want to lay down our will and pick up your will, Lord. We want to be da daughters who are obedient, God. And on tonight, God, we are claiming that nothing will go undone. You said that if we, wherever we placed our foot, that we could claim it. And on tonight, we are placing our foot in those places that you said we could claim. Territory we have never seen before. Territory we have never touched before. Territory we've never been before places that you said that we could have God on tonight we are claiming those places God Lord we thank you God we thank you for your son Lord we thank you for this opportunity to share in your word God Lord I speak favor over every life that is on our line tonight whether it's by social media God or whether it's by the conference line whatever pathway we are using God Lord remind them that they are winners because they serve a winner Everything that is attached to them shall win. Mm -hmm. Only if we continue to do so by faith, believe in you, God. You said that we needed to seek you more than we ever thought we could, Lord, and seek you way more than we wanted. And on tonight, Lord, we are seeking you, and we're asking you to search us out, God. Mm -hmm. Just search us out, Lord. 
Now, God, I ask that um, that you continue to bless every woman that is represented on tonight, Lord. Bless every family, God, um, that is attached to them. Everything that they have, God, everything they touch, everywhere they go, God, uh, remind them that whatever they touch shall prosper as long as they continue to believe in you, God. Lord, we thank you for our Nice Street Church family, God. Lord, we thank you for our pastor, God, and, and his vision, God, for allowing us to even be able to, to use this pathway, God, and to, to reach every, every woman possible that we can, God. Mm -hmm. Now, Lord, on tonight, continue to bless us, Lord. Continue to bless us, Lord. And on tonight, God, we're going to lay out everything before you, God. Our brokenness, God. Our depression, God. Our... our, our, our um, our mentality, God, of thinking that we lack when we know that every need have, has been met, God. We lay everything before you unto God, every unanswered prayer, God. We lay it before you on tonight, God, because you said, you promised us on tonight that nothing shall go undone. Every situation that we think is still bent over, God, we lay it before you, God. Every situation that we think is still crooked, God, we lay it before you, God. Lord, we will give you all the glory, all the honor that you are so rightfully deserving of, God. Now, God, I ask that you remove anything from us that is not like you, God. Remove it right now in the name of Jesus. Look, Lord, continue to bless as you have in, in this season, God. Remind someone that even in this season, God, that you are you are going to make those things. You are going to fulfill your promise, God, even in this season. You are going to restore families, God. You are going to restore marriages, God. You are going to help someone's child on tonight, God. Lord, you are going to help some single woman, God, who is in a, who has a desire, God. Lord, we thank you, God. We thank you, God. We thank you, God. We thank you. We thank you for your grace and your mercy. We thank you for those things you've done, the things you have been doing, Lord, and the things you are about to do in each one of our lives, God. And on day 22, God, we are going to walk in our purpose, even in the dark, because you said that you would be our guide, and our guide, and there is nothing that we shall worry about. Now, God, we give you all the glory and the honor that you are so rightfully deserving of. It is in your son Jesus' name that we pray. Amen. Amen. Listen, ladies, I hope you enjoyed our devotion on tonight. Uh, it was day 20. Tomorrow is our last day. And yes, I'm a little bit sad about it too. But it's day 21 on tomorrow. I'll see you in the morning around 730. And our last day is called Wonder Working. He is a wonder working God. He is a wonder working God. Amen. Listen, um, I still have something special planned for you in honor of our 21 days. So be look on the lookout for a message in our group, an announcement. I'll even go live to make the announcement between Wednesday and Thursday. And uh, don't forget, tomorrow is Live in 45 with Pastor Carter at 7 p.m. And you already know how it goes up with Pastor Carter. So I need to see each and every one of you back here tomorrow on Facebook Live at 7 p.m. Uh, we are getting ready for... Uh, uh, next gen bible study so hop on this on the facebook live on the next gen page with us as we begin our bible study with our kids let's talk about it tuesday love on them and support them in the comments as much as you can listen ladies i love each and every one of you i will see you in the morning between 7 30 and 7 45 and listen god is going to finish what he started nothing will go undone in this season you guys have a good night be blessed to Night Street, you are welcome to Night Street. Welcome to Night Street, you are welcome to Night Street. And we need you to save the lost at any cost. And we need you to save the lost at any cost. You are welcome to Church fam, these are your monthly church announcements. 
every first Monday of the month, Ninth Street Missionary Baptist Church Prayer Line is hosted at 7.30 a.m. You can dial into the conference line at 605-475-2875, access code 647-4067-POUND. Again, that is 605 605- 475-2875 access code 647-4067 or meet us on Facebook Live. Every Monday is Message Monday hanging with the Carters at 7 p.m. via the conference line or Facebook Live. Message Monday at 7 p.m. Every Tuesday is Ladies' Night. It is the Powder Room with the Women of the Nine virtual Bible study at 7 p.m. Meet us on Facebook Live or by conference line. Tuesdays at 7 p.m. It goes up every Wednesday for Live in 45 with our very own Pastor Carter. Bible study starts at 7 p.m. You can meet us by way of Facebook Live or on the conference line. Again, Live in 45 Bible study every Wednesday at 7 p.m. Who's next? Next Gen's next. Every Monday at 6 p.m. is our children's check-in on Tuesday is Talk About It Tuesday at 7.45 p.m. And then on Saturday, it is Story Time Saturday for our little ones. Meet us on Facebook Live at the Night Street Next Gen Youth Ministry page. You can give your offering and tithe by way of Cash App at dollar sign T-H-A number 9 MBC. Again, that's dollar sign the 9 MBC on Cash App. You can also give by our Tithely app by locating 9th Street MBC. Again, that's our Tithely app, 9th Street MBC. You can also give by per in person from 1 p.m. to 2 p.m. on Saturdays at the 9th Street Missionary Baptist Church, 1023 North 9th Street, Fort Smith, Arkansas. If you'd like to give to our pastor's love offering, you can do so by cash app at dollar sign C-A-N-D-B-S-P. Again, that's dollar sign C-A-N-D-B-S-P. My Street Missionary Baptist Church. Remember, our mission statement is saving the lost at any cost. 